Graham, uh, first time in a scrimmage setting uh, with DK in quite a while. How'd that feel on Saturday? And you guys just did you guys just pick up where you left off at Wisconsin? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, the amount of balls that I've thrown to that guy um, in my career, it, even just like we've been joking, like football is football. I mean, you look across any offense, any scheme. I mean, the the routes, the carryovers, it's the same stuff. Yeah, it's just different verbiage, like. For me, we had, a, we had a certain route where at Wisconsin was called pick. So like I'll be like, hey, it's just pick. I just read it like that. And then, so for us, we could really hit the ground running um, as far as transferring knowledge that we had. Because like when I first came in, I was like, oh, this play is very similar to this one. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, just from day one, scrimmage was fun. But uh, he's done a great job of working. And obviously, you guys needed to add a, a veteran to the room to replace Ricky, but. You got a guy that you also have a relationship with, and I know how tight you and Ricky were. How much is it nice to have a guy to kind of fill that void, yeah. not just on the field, but off the field as well? So <laughs> it was funny because I was with, uh, on pro day, Ricky was here, and I grabbed Chim and we were just kind of all talking together. And it was like when I left Wisconsin, I was like, oh, Ricky's my new Chim. <laughs> and then Ricky leaves and then Chim's back. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was funny just kind of talking to those guys and, um, and seeing that come to fruition, and you're yeah. just, you're just, it's crazy how life works, so it's pretty awesome. How many moving parts are there to executing more plays of 20, 30, even 40 yards? Yeah, I mean, we've had that during the spring. I think we've done a good job. I mean, they always tell me be judicious, not cautious with the football. Um, calculated risks, mm -hmm. understanding leverage, and there's so many layers to it. Mm -hmm. um, but the biggest thing is it all comes down to communication. And if I can get us in the right protection, get everything picked up, um, get everybody thinking the same thing and that comes back to taking extra time to meet with the receivers based on this coverage you can you can kind of lean in a little bit to the post so there's so many details that go into it but um yeah that's definitely been a point of emphasis what do you see good. from this group in terms of being able to do that i mean i think across the board in that room you got a great range of guys that you got smaller guys that are fast you got bigger guys that can um, play big so it's, it's knowing your personnel in each concept um, and where they fit into each part of that so I think across the board, they all know what their strengths are. And I think they're doing a really good job of asking the questions on, like, look, I might not be the biggest guy, but how do I win this one-on-one -on -one and play big when I'm not that tall? So there's so many layers to it of guys really playing to their strengths and also attacking their weaknesses right now, which is, for me, that's so much fun as a quarterback, seeing guys ask those questions, try to understand coverage more, leverage, all these different details to it. So it's been mm -hmm. great.